Hello, in this video we'll be looking at how you can work out the solutions to equations using bar modelling. I'm going to start with a really simple question. Imagine you've gone to the builder's yard and you have bought two um, planks of wood and uh, you don't know their lengths but you lay them end to end and they are three metres in total. How could you work out the length of each piece of wood. Well one thing that you could do is you could try and measure them, couldn't you? Let's imagine this is a purely maths problem though. We've got this three meters is the total and two equally length uh, pieces of wood. The sum you need to do, or the, the calculation you need to do, is three divided by two, 1.5. Let's just check that. If this piece of wood is 1.5 metres and this piece of wood is 1.5 metres, add them together, that does make 3 metres. Let's try a second question, similar one. This time though, rather than putting question marks, I put the symbol X. Now I've got three pieces of wood, here they are, and the total is 36 centimetres in this case. Let's have a think about how you might work out the length of each of these pieces of wood. The total is 36. It needs to be equally into three pieces. So we are doing 36 divided by 3, which is 12 centimetres. Let's just check that that is correct. 12 centimetres plus 12 centimetres, plus 12 centimetres. Type that on a calculator, you do indeed get 36 centimetres. Here's a third question. Now this one is getting a little bit more towards where we might use bar models to solve an equation. Here you can see I've got two pieces of wood of equal length and then there's a five centimetre piece on the end and the total is 17. Now when I do these I draw them rather than drawing these arrows on the bottom it makes it a bit quicker if I just draw another bar on the bottom and label it with a 17. So from now on they're going to be drawn like this but really the bottom number here is just telling you the total length. So let's have a look at this problem. We know that the total has got to be 17, but what about these x's? Well, clearly a good thing to do would be to work out, if we can, the total length of the two x's, because then we can divide by 2 and find the value of 1x. How can we figure out that length there? Well, let's have a look. If the total length is 17, and I were to remove that 5, I would be left with 12. So this calculation here is telling me that the two x's, these two, are worth 12 centimetres those two pieces of wood together have a total length of 12. How would we then work out the value of 1x? Well, if these two x's make 12, we do 12 divided by 2, which is 6. And let's just check that that works. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 5 makes 17 which is what it should have been, 17 in total. Here is another problem. It says four of these x's plus a 7 makes 27. So four x's and a 7 in total has a length of 27. Let's do what we did before. Let's take off that 7 from the end removing 7 from the total length. So if you take off that 7, 
oh, where am I going to? There. You end up with 20. In other words, the length of these four x's is 20. How do I work out the value of one of those x's? 20 divided by 4, which makes 5. Just reiterate that one more time. So what we're doing is taking off the 7 from the end, and what we're left with is 20, and then dividing it into four equal pieces. 20 divided by 4, which makes 5. Now, in this case, I hadn't put any units like centimetres or metres in, so um, I'm not going to put any units on my answer. We've got a few more examples to just zip through. We're building up to how to use these for equations. Here is number five. Just take a look at it. See if you can think how we might go about solving this particular problem. Remember, we want to work out the value of x. So, same as before, we're going to try to work out what these five x's are worth by taking the 9 away. 39 minus 9 is 30, like that. And then can you think what we're going to do? Well, if 5x's make 30, split that 30 into 5 equal pieces, and you end up with the answer 6. Now, what we haven't done so far, but we're going to start from now on, is writing our answer in the correct way. We've got 6, but strictly speaking, we should be saying x equals 6. Let's just check that. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 30, plus 9 makes 39. So that x must stand for the number 6. If you like, the length of that bit must be 6 units. Here's another one. I've chosen to go with a in this case rather than x, just to illustrate that when we're doing algebra, you can use different letters. Um, but if you're asked to solve an equation, you still have to find out what that letter represents. What number does that letter represent? So let's do as we've done before. We've got 30 as the total length. Take away 18 leaves us with 12. And if that 12 needs to be split into three equal bits, so we say A equals 4. Now, here is where we start to actually introduce some equations. This is an equation. It's a statement about um, x with some other numbers thrown in and uh, a number over here which tells you what the final value is equal to. So what you need to do, if you're going to use this method to solve an equation, is you need to draw your own bar model. So I always start by drawing chunky bar and then split it into two. On the top level, I'm going to try and draw four x's, and the remainder will be a three. And the bottom level, which is equal in length, so we use the equals symbol, is 15. Let's use our method now to try to solve this equation. So the total length is 15, take off 3, you end up with 12, and if that 12 needs to be split into 4 equal bits, so we say x equals 3. Let's have a look at some more examples just like that. Here's the first one. So again, draw your own bar model. Five y's this time. Here they are, y drawn out five times. 
and the total is 45. So, total length is 45, take off the 10, that means that this bit here is worth 35, and then split that 35 into 5 equal bits. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and therefore the value of y is 7. Notice how every time we seem to be taking off what was added. So it was a plus 10, but we, the first thing we do is take it away. And then start to divide by how many y's were in the diagram. There were 5 y's, so we divide by 5. Here's number 9. Have a think about it. Have a think about how you would draw it. Try and visualize what it would look like. All right, you're going to draw a bar model to illustrate this one. What are the key things to get on there? Well, we need to have seven sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roughly equal in length. And a one makes 50. So take off the one to make 49 and then divide 49 into 7 equal bits so B equals 7 ok I have 2 here for you I'd suggest at this stage that you pause the video and have a go at both of those and then once you've finished I will you should unpause the video and come back to it and we'll look at the answers okay let's look at this one see how you got on so here is our bar model We've got eight x's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a four. These are all x's. And the total is 36. Take off the four to make 32. And then divide by eight makes four. So x equals four is the correct answer. OK, let's look at number 11. slightly longer this time so I've got to do 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 these are D's 66 take off the 3 and you get 63 and 63 divided by 9 is 7 so D equals 7 as with any algebra problem, you can always check your answer is correct. I should say any equations problem. You can always check your answer is correct by substituting the number back in. So if we put 7 here, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, plus 3, makes 66. So we think we're correct. So in this video, we've looked at how you can use bar models to try to solve equations. However, the equations that we've stuck to have been quite simple. I will produce a video in future which tries to show you how to deal with um, slightly more difficult equations and how to set them up as bar models. Thanks for listening.